Hey, it's Councilman Salters. And Councilman Grove. And we're inside because it's cold and rainy outside. At least it's not cold and rainy. Icy yeah, or well, snowing. yeah. But it's not cold and rainy in here. Yeah. Uh, so we're going to do this quick. Uh, key things from tonight it was a pretty quick meeting for our January 25th meeting. Uh, some business keeping, but let's just get started from the beginning. We always have our business update. Business is going well in the city of Vincennes. Uh, key thing, just remember to buy local, support local businesses, whether it's at small, medium, large. Make sure that you shop here locally because they're the people that are going to help us really just get out of this. Um, I, I'm a firm believer of that. Uh, and uh, right now, this is the quarter that we were kind of worried about because you go from the holidays into quarter one. Uh, but things are going well. Continue to support lo lo local businesses. We're really excited about that. Uh, COVID? COVID numbers is kind of a mixed bag. Uh, obviously, we're a red county, but all of our other numbers are way down, way down uh, which is very good. So we do expect a good report on Wednesday. That's when our new county metrics come out. The mayor and I will give those updates when they are made available. But um, great news on the vaccine front for Knox County. You want to hit that? Yeah, I mean, vaccines are going great. Numbers are way up. People are getting out and doing what they should, going and getting vaccinated. The group out there is just fantastic. They're, they're doing a great job of getting even more people than, than it should be out there, really. Um, they, they're doing a great job. Yeah, so really good job. Uh, I think we are currently number one in the state when that's it comes crazy. to yeah. distribution. So that's really good. So uh, that's a great job. Big shout out to our health department, Good Sam. We're really excited about where we're at there uh, and they're gonna help us get through this and I couldn't be more pleased with the way things are going. Uh, when it came to business, the city council tonight, uh, basically just some bookkeeping, all right? There were some uh, payments basically with the parks department that got delayed uh, so that needed to be moved now to be paid. Uh, we did that, we had to suspend the rules. I don't wanna get too much in the weeds, but it was just simple bookkeeping to make sure that our books were straight for where we're at right now. Uh, we have to do this every once in a while. Usually it's at the beginning or the end of the year yep. to make sure that things are taken care of. And then usually you don't see that during uh, the rest of the year. So we took care of that. Uh, then we got to, usually it's, it's become my favorite part of the meeting where we go around and each uh, councilman talks about their district. A lot of great things going on. So you want to hit on a few? Yeah, uh, you know, my district was, uh, the Harrison House was a big, yeah. uh, big renovation out there. If you're, if you're out and about, you'll drive by there, the fen there's a fence up, you'll wonder what. But they are, they got a, a, just an awesome crew in there that's, that's very skilled at, at doing what they're supposed to do, keep it historic. Yeah, I'm really excited about That's the White House of the West. It um, is. And we're really excited about that. We've made a big commitment to that because that, that's a part of Vincent's history. Yeah. And it's very important. Uh, for us to make sure that's taken care of, uh, we were that excited. Group, that group, we although we were a con contributor to that, though, that group, you get you gotta give a shout out to them. They got most of that uh, donation. Yeah, and, I and mean they worked on their own. That's that Grassland Foundation huge. worked yeah. really hard they, to be able to get all that. Awesome. And uh, man, I just love all the stuff that they do out there. And it's gonna be nice that you're gonna get this renovation done. Uh, get to go back in there, have those events. Yeah. Uh, my favorite one's always uh, Christmas. Candlelight. Christmas yeah. at Grassland. Yes. That's usually my favorite yes. one. Uh, but that's going on. Uh, we heard a lot about construction and things that's happening. One of the great things that's happening, if you go to every section of town, there's something that's happening in the city of Vincennes. And I kind of ended it on what we're starting to hear now is those events that are getting planned again. So the rendezvous started talking about uh, how they're going to prepare for the upcoming year, how they're going to have a rendezvous in a safe uh, environment. And they're going to do it. Um, and they're kind of reaching out now, planning volunteers to get that prepared. Uh, but then you're also starting to hear the, the rumble of smaller events to start to happen. So one of the things that our uh, community does pride itself on is these events, whether they're big, small, medium size. I mean, we're a community that likes to get together and to be able to know that those things are starting to happen again, that those talks are happening where, you know, there for months, we didn't even know when this would happen. It, it, it's it nice. Yeah. It's nice to know that that's, that's on the horizon and, I don't know, I'm really excited about 2021. I'm excited about the things that are happening. I'm excited to be out um, and just be with our community again because that's what makes this community great. I'm excited for food trucks on the Wabash. If you've got a question about that, please send Councilman Grove a message because he would love to answer those when food trucks are gonna start. I bet there is at least 50 a day 
is crazy. Because and I'm usually one of them too. When is it starting? Well, it's, it's when... January and it's 30 degrees out. It's not starting yet, but it will be starting. So we'll be back on the road. So the little assaulters who it's his birthday today. Happy birthday, Happy Vee. birthday, Vee. Happy birthday. Um, he loves food trucks on the wall bash. So usually on Mondays, even though it's winter, he will ask if it's a food truck night. I have to remind him that it's cold outside. That we don't <laughs> we don't go do food trucks when it's winter. Uh, but he's a big fan, so he'll be excited to be able to do that. And I, I mean, that's one of the great things that we were able to do last year. It was a little bit different, and we're looking forward to that returning to yes. its normal place and everything. But things are going great here in the city of Vincennes. We're really excited about the uh, direction that we're going. Uh, there's a lot of great things happening, too, in each one of our committees, too. And I'm really excited. I, I know I've said excited a lot because I am. Uh, that, that's one of the biggest differences, you know, is the committee reports every meeting we have at least you know four or five minutes of yeah. committee reports uh, just makes us more informed of what else is going on yeah well that leaves us with the report that we have uh if you guys have questions comments ideas send them our way yep. uh we'd love to hear from you uh we're working hard to make sure that we keep moving forward here in the city of Vincennes and uh, uh you know the next day is always better than the last and that's what the goal is every single day so we will see you in february yes. wow yeah. February. It's here. Uh, so have a good one.